let's talk about negations of quantified statements. So the last couple of videos, we've been looking at quantified statements. Examples of quantified statements include the universal statement, which if you remember, said for all x in our domain, our quantifier is true. And this is equivalent to saying for all x, x, if x is in the domain, then our quantifier is true. So this is an if then, an implication. And we also talked about the existential statement, which said there exists an x in the domain such that q of x is true. And another way of writing this was to say there exists an x where x is in the domain and q of x is true. Right. So both of these, the universal statement and the existential statement, both of these are quantified statements. And we talked a little bit in the previous videos about their negations, but now we're going to formalize it. So here's a statement. All deserts have cacti. And it's not a predicate. It is a statement because it is a universal statement. So we're saying uh, our domain is all deserts. So here our domain is all deserts. And we're saying that pick any desert and it's going to have cacti. Okay, so what would be the negation of this? This is in fact a false statement. Um, so would the negation be that there's not a single desert that has cacti or there's at least one desert that doesn't have cacti? Well, again, we want to think about the world being broken into two parts. One that says all deserts have cacti, and what's the opposite of that? It's going to be that at least one desert does not have cacti, right? Because we said this is a false statement. And in fact, the Sahara Desert, for example, is an example of a desert that doesn't have cacti. Um, Antarctica is also considered a desert because desert is defined by the amount of rainfall. And so there are, we know this is a false statement that all deserts have cactus, but that doesn't mean that there's not a single desert that has cacti, right? The Sonoran Desert certainly has cacti. There are plenty of deserts that do have cacti. So the negation, if this is false, if this statement is false, the then that means our negation is true. And again, we saw that example. So it turns out the way we write uh, the negation of a universal statement is that it turns it into an existential statement. So the negation of for all x is going to be there exists an x in the domain such that our quantifier is false, right? So you can think about this as pulling that negative inside and the negative flips the for all into a there exists and then it flips to there exists and it flips the quantifier to the negation. Okay, but this is the official um, negation uh, let's do an example. We say that all politicians are honest. That's probably not true. No matter what your political beliefs are, you probably don't believe that all politicians are honest. Um, so that if the, if the statement itself isn't true, then that means the negation is true. So let's look at how we would write this negation. Um, I'm going to put this, make this a little bit more symbolic. I'm going to say, instead of saying all politicians are honest, I'm going to say, for all politicians, I'm probably misspelling something along the way. 
x. x is honest. And now I'm going to use this formula for a negated statement, a negated universal statement, and suck that negative sign in and get that this becomes an existential statement. There exists a politician, x, such that, now I'm going to negate the second part, the quantifier, x is not honest. Right? And how would I write that in English? Well, I'd probably say some politicians are not honest or dishonest. All right, so this is the negation of a universal statement. Um, and again, let's write that out. The negation sign goes inside, transfers the for all into a there exists. And then we take the negation of our quantifier. And now we do something similar with an existential statement. That negation sign goes in and flips the this to a universal statement. And then that negation sign also comes in and flips our quantifier. All right, so here's an example. There exists a person with green hair. Well, that's a true statement. But I'm going to take the negation. So let's write this in English. What would the negation of this be? Well, I'm going to write it symbolically first. There exists an X in the human race such that X has green hair. which is equivalent to, for all x in the human race, and now I'm taking, I'm moving that negation sign in, right? So I applied the negation sign to the, there exists, and I got a for all. Now I'm going to apply the negation sign to the x has green hair bit. And now let's convert that to English. I'm saying that for everybody X, they don't have green hair, so I can rewrite that as nobody has green hair. And obviously in this example, my original statement was true, which means my negation must be false. There are indeed people with green hair, probably not naturally green hair, but dyed green hair, I'm gonna count it. We're going to do two more quick examples in this video, and then we'll be done. So first, I'm going to uh, negate the statement, some cats eat green beans, which is in fact a true statement, because I used to have a cat that adored green beans. I have no idea why, but it was her favorite food. So the statement is certainly true. Let's take its negation. So the negation will be false. I'm going to again write this symbolically. This is, is this a universal or there exists? I'm not saying that all cats eat green beans. I'm saying some cats eat green beans. So this is a there exists. A cat in the cataverse. Such that C eats green beans. And then I'm going to apply that negation sign, and that's going to become a for all cats in the cataverse. Now I'm going to apply that negation to the second part, too. C does not eat green beans. And I can convert this to English, and I can say this is the same as cats don't eat green beans, which is a lie. My cat did. Okay, let's do this one about dogs. I'm going to say that 
all dogs have tails is my statement, which is a false statement. There are actually several breeds that are naturally tailless. I'm not even talking about having tails docked, which is what happened with this poor dog. Um, there are some breeds that have no tails when they're born. And so this is a false statement. So I'm going to take its negation, which will be true. I'm going to say this is a negation. Now we have a universal statement for all dogs in the dog -averse. D has a tail. And then applying that negation is going to convert this to an existential statement. So this is a D in the dog -averse, such that D does not have a tail. And then converting this to English, <clears throat> I'm going to get that some dogs are tailless. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of practice on negating these quantified statements.